the seven elements of a hot opportunity. In this lesson you're going to learn what the seven elements of a hot opportunity are and why they are so important. There are seven critical elements you will look for when selecting your hot product opportunities. It is very important you understand a little about them before you actually start searching. When combined with our ASM criteria, they provide the perfect blueprint for selecting viable profitable products. The first element is the best seller ranking of the primary product. Best seller ranking or BSR is simply Amazon's way of ranking their products. The most important factor in BSR is the number of sales a product makes. Another way of thinking of BSR is simply the demand for the product on Amazon. BSR is ranked by number with number one being the highest number of sales or demand. Each top level category has its own BSR and this is going to be the BSR we deal with. Now you will learn more about categories in the next lesson and what top level categories are. Lastly, primary product is just a term we use when searching. It is the first opportunity of a specific product. The second element of a hot opportunity is the BSR of competition. When we search, we use two competing products to the primary product to prove viability of an opportunity. So we need the BSR of the two competing products. This is done by looking at the keyword search for the primary product. And again, this will be much clearer when we actually start searching. But essentially, we're just checking that the two competing products are also in demand. The third element is the number of reviews. Now, Amazon product reviews are built naturally over time. And generally speaking, a product with a lot of reviews will be harder to compete against than one with lower numbers. If you find a product with good BSR and low reviews, this could be a great opportunity. The fourth element, reviews of competition. The number of reviews of the two competing products can be just as important as those of the primary product. This is because we do not have to be number one to have a profitable product. Just being on the first page of results can be enough. For example, the primary product has a high number of reviews, but the competition have a low number. This could mean it would be easy to get to spot two, which would still be very lucrative. However, if the next 10 competing products also have a high number, it might mean it could be just too competitive. The fifth element, the price. As you will see in the ASM criteria, the optimum price range we recommend is between $19 and $70. This is designed primarily to ensure the profit margin is high enough for your product. Having a lower price can mean your profit margin is too low to enable you to allow for advertising and promotions. The sixth element, private label potential. This means can the product you are looking at be sold by you as your own product under your own brand? Now again, this will make a lot more sense when we look at specific examples. However, a simple example would be an Apple MacBook. Creating your own version of an Apple MacBook and selling it yourself is virtually impossible. You simply can't private label it. The seventh element, profit margin. Now profit margin is obviously closely related to price range. However, while it is determined by the price you sell at, we aim to be the premium price on Amazon and not selling at the lowest price. You are able to take this approach because once you apply everything you learn in this course, you will be able to compete at a higher price. Now, you will not be able to get an exact profit margin until you start talking to suppliers. Mike will be walking you through this in the next module. We can estimate it though, as you will see in a later lesson in this module. And lastly, we recommend aiming for a minimum of 25% when it comes to your profit margin. Well, now you have learned what the seven elements of a hot opportunity are. In the next lesson, you are going to learn about the most profitable categories to concentrate on. Now, there are no actual action steps for this lesson, but make sure you watch it a couple of times to understand the concept. That's it for this lesson. Take care.